A vital and formidable body of water, the Drake Passage is located between Antarctica and the southernmost point of South America, Cape Horn and Chile. This tunnel is around 600 miles, about 1,000 kilometers wide, which is about the same distance as the Bering Land Bridge, which connected North America and Asia 35,000 years ago, just before the last glacial maximum. It is also about the same length as the route between London and Berlin. The Southern Ocean, the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, and the two largest bodies of water on Earth merge at this crucial point. The passage's average depth is around 3,400 meters or about 11,150 feet, but it can reach depths as great as 4,800 meters equivalent to about 15,700 feet at its northern and southern extremities, which is comparable to the height of Mont Blanc, the highest mountain in the Alps. Is the Drake Passage vulnerable to anthropogenic change? We will find out in this video. Before we proceed, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification icon in order to stay connected. You can support for free by sharing our content to a wider audience and don't forget to drop your thoughts and opinion in the comments section below. Moving forward, let's first consider this in the context of history. The renowned Elizabethan sailor Sir Francis Drake, who was instrumental in the battle for supremacy between the Spanish and early British empires, is honored by the name Drake Passage. Drake, who lived in England from 1540 to 1543, gained notoriety as a sea dog for his adventures robbing and pillaging Spanish ships. Drake was selected to head an expedition supported by Queen Elizabeth I to circumnavigate South America by crossing the perilous Strait of Magellan despite his violent and daring past. Violence dogged his travels, culminating in the death of leader Thomas Doughty, who was charged with treason and witchcraft. Drake never made an attempt to navigate the sea channel he theorized was beneath South America. Francisco de Hoses discovered the Drake Passage in 1526, named it Marta Hoses in Latin America. Flemish adventurer Willem Schouten successfully navigated it in 1616, making it the most reliable sea route. Due to its hazardous circumstances, which include bitterly cold waters, powerful winds, and choppy seas, the Drake Passage is well known. Being among the most remote locations on Earth, it makes emergency situations challenging and necessitates extreme self-preparation from visitors. It is difficult for humans to survive in these freezing seas. Ice fish are unique to this area, they are the only vertebrates without red blood cells with translucent blood and white hearts and have adapted to the cold. Conditions at sea are unusually tumultuous due to the confluence of the frigid Antarctic Circumpolar Current ACC, with warmer currents from the South Pacific and South Atlantic Oceans. Tall waves, choppy seas, and terrifying sailing conditions are caused by the strong westerly winds, sometimes referred to as the screaming 60s, furious 50s, and roaring 40. Strong gusts, heavy precipitation, choppy seas, and extreme visibility decrease are some of the unpredictable weather changes brought on by these winds, which have their origins in warmer regions further north. The Drake Passage remains an essential route for travel, scientific research, and exploration to Antarctica despite these difficulties. Through the tunnel, scientists can investigate glaciology, marine life, and climate change in one of the planet's remaining unexplored regions. Travelers brave the journey to see Antarctica's breathtaking scenery and varied species, as well as its distinct and pristine ecosystem. Between Tierra del Fuego's suppler climate and Antarctica's cold polar areas, the Drake Passage serves as a transitional area. In the north, the average yearly air temperature is 41 degrees Fahrenheit or 5 degrees Celsius whereas in the south, it is 27 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 3 degrees Celsius. In the north, surface water temperatures range from 43 degrees Fahrenheit or 6 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 1 degrees Celsius, with a notable shift around the Antarctic Convergence, which is located close to latitude 60 degrees south. The bottom sediments of the Drake Passage vary significantly, with contributions from both Antarctic and South American sources. In Tierra del Fuego, silts ranging from sandy to clay predominate, while near Antarctica, ice-grafted materials shaped by icebergs predominate. Most winds over the Drake Passage come from the west and the north. Close to Cape Horn is where they are fiercest. Cyclones that arise in the Pacific Ocean and sweep across the southern edge of the passage from west to east are responsible for the notorious weather in the region. What part does the Antarctic Circumpolar Current ACC, play now, the greatest ocean circulation in the world, the Antarctic Circumpolar Circulation ACC, circles Antarctica from west to east. This current is essential to the management of the climate and the circulation of the oceans worldwide. More water is transported by the ACC than by any other ocean current, roughly 140 million cubic meters per second. This enormous flow promotes water exchange between the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, which affects the distribution of nutrients and heat around the world. 
The dominant westerly winds in the Southern Ocean are the driving force for the strength and durability of the ACC. The stream is funneled into the small strait and accelerated by these winds and the distinct topography of the Drake Passage. The Drake Passage is one of the world's most difficult waterways because of its short width and average depth of 3,400 meters, which combine to create a strong and turbulent environment. Is the Drake Passage vulnerable to anthropogenic climate change? The answer is a resounding yes. The effects of global warming can significantly alter the passage's environmental conditions and influence global climate systems. Key areas of concern include 1. Ocean currents and temperature. Climate change has the potential to modify the ACC's strength and temperature, which can affect the distribution of nutrients and world heat. Water density and current flow may be impacted by changes in sea ice extent and melting rates brought on by warmer temperatures. The albedo effect is impacted by changes in sea ice, which intensifies regional warming and modifies atmospheric and oceanic patterns. 2. Melting of sea ice and ice sheets. Raising air temperatures hasten the process of Antarctic ice sheet melting, bringing fresh water to the surface and possibly undermining the Antarctic Treaty Convention. Ocean circulation patterns may be significantly altered as a result of this. Seasonal changes in sea ice cover affect marine navigation and habitats as they move northward from Antarctica. The rock is normally clear of ice in late summer, February, but by September, up to 25% of the passage may be covered in ice, with ice flows occasionally making it all the way to Cape Horn. 3. Marine Ecosystems A variety of marine life, including krill, which are vital to the Antarctic food web, can be found in the Drake Passage. These habitats may be disturbed by rising temperatures and shifting currents, which may have an impact on species that require cold water conditions. Ocean acidification affects calcifying species like shellfish and pteropods, which are essential to the marine food chain. This is because of increasing CO2 absorption. 4. Global Climate Impact by storing CO2 in the deep ocean, the ACC is essential to the global carbon cycle. Changes in the current may diminish this capability, so intensifying the effects of global warming. The interdependence of the world's climate system is highlighted by the potential effects of changes in ocean mixing and nutrient distribution on marine ecosystems and fisheries around the world. Because of its distinct environmental features and significance to the global circulation of ocean waters, the Drake Passage is the focus of scientific investigation. Scholars from many parts of the globe brave this perilous journey to investigate glaciology, marine biology, and climate change. Because of the passage's choppy waters and severe weather, researchers may study how ocean currents, sea ice, and marine ecosystems are affected by global warming in a natural setting. Cutting-edge technology-equipped research vessels assess changes in sea ice extent, measure water temperatures, and keep an eye on the ACC. Understanding the long-term effects of climate change on the Southern Ocean and the global climate system depends on these studies. The data collected in the Drake Passage contributes to climate models that predict future changes in ocean circulation and global temperatures. The Drake Passage offers a thrilling journey through Antarctica's wilderness, showcasing wildlife, geology, and history. It emphasizes sustainable tourism, ocean circulation, and climate control, and serves as a vital center for monitoring and scientific research. The Drake Passage serves as a vital research location for comprehending the interdependence of Earth's climate systems and as a symbol of the planet's inherent force as the globe struggles with the repercussions of climate change. Continued investigation and study of this difficult route will direct efforts to save the delicate ecosystems of the Southern Ocean and beyond, as well as offer insightful information about the effects of global warming. And that concludes this chapter. You can support for free by sharing our content to a wider audience and don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, kindly remember to like, subscribe, share, and turn on the bell notification icon in order to stay connected. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.